What's going on, guys? Girls, Rob here, and we've got five matches on the card here at, at Richmond Coliseum, and we're going to follow that up with five or six matches, rather, or seven matches possibly at the Dorton Arena, uh, Richmond Coliseum. Let's uh, let me tell you who our matches are. Okay, uh, match number one will consist. Uh, let's see, let me put match one. Um, Kelly Kaniski um, and Greg Valentine. Greg Valentine's going to be in the first match of the evening. Don't forget, um, it's going to be. Um, Two, we're going to be at two different venues tonight. So the first match here, and then we'll go uh, down to uh, actually Charlotte Coliseum. Uh, the sex, second match will feature the Boogie Woogie Man Jimmy Valiant against Private Jim Nelson. So Jimmy Valiant against Private Nelson, Private Jim Nelson. And that, and, uh, after we let them wrestle, after we wrestle for about two weeks, we'll see who has the better records, and then we'll start letting them wrestle for championships. Uh, match three. Match three is going to pit Ron Ritchie. Ron Ritchie against a young Ric Flair. So Ric Flair will be in match three. Not even near... Uh, main event here. Match four is going to be a six-man match. Six-man bout. And it's going to feature, what's up, Thomas? Pork Chop Cash, Rufus R. Freight Train Jones, Angelo Mosca Jr. against Bad Bad Leroy Brown, ba uh, Bob Orton Jr., Nick Slater. So a six-man match right there. And, uh, it, you know, even if you win uh, any kind of match, it's going to help you in stature, move up. Uh, so, uh, it, you know, that's the thing. Right now, you're just trying to get uh, your footing as to uh, where you're going to be once the, uh, the belts start flying. Um, uh, so, um, only five matches on our TV card tonight. And then right after this, um, we'll have seven matches at Charlotte Coliseum. Okay. And then our main event on the television card today, it will feature, uh, Jay Youngblood and Ricky Steamboat. against the Andersons, the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, Gene and Ole Anderson. So that will be our uh, that will be our main event on television today. All right. So we will go to the cards now. Let's go to the cards. All right. Okay. America, the beautiful while balancing himself on <laughs> what's up, Amish. All right, we'll feature over here first. We'll, we'll feature this side first, okay? All right. Um, these are the guys that are not wrestling tonight, they're just in the back room. And no specialty cards given right now, okay? Uh, no, no, uh, Managers showed up today. Nothing like yet. So we're going to see uh, how things turned out. Okay. Let's do this then. All right. Kelly Kaniski, Greg Valentine. Somebody pick a winner. Kelly Kaniski, Greg Valentine. All right. Who do you think is going to win this one? Um. 
juggle at the same time. <laughs> And it's blood. First blood match. 47, 86. Greg Valentine wins that one in a laugher. Valentine wins that one in a laugher. Jimmy Valiant, the boogie woogie man, Jimmy Valiant against Private Jim Nelson. Or the quality of cards. Um, I, they're better. I think they're actually a little bit better than a, a deck of cards you'd get. And of a, out of a box. I think they're a little bit better anyway. Valiant, B Jim Nelson, who's going to win this one? First one, uh, Thomas called that one. No managers involved. Valiant, he says. All right, let's see. Hart, showing heart. 82, 84, and look at here, Jim, um, Private Jim Nelson rolls him up in the old small package, and Private Nelson wins that match. How about that? Private Jim Nelson wins. How about that? Endurance. It was the endurance factor. Private Jim Nelson wins. Ron Ritchie. Against an early Ric Flair before Ric Flair held it hardly any titles. This is early on, guys. Who's gonna win this one? Ron Ritchie, Ric Flair. Whoops, I got the belt right there. Let me record right there. All right. And Thomas says uh, Flair wins this one, and it is blood. So it is, um, what do they call this one? Uh, it is hardcore, hardcore match. Ric Flair is indeed the winner. Flair is the winner here. Next one features Pork Chop Cash, Rufus R. Freight Train Jones, Angelo Mosca. Let's move on the chart here. All right, there we go. Against Bad Bad Leroy Brown, Bob Orton Jr., Dick Slater. All right, we'll have some adding to do on these. Couldn't the good guys win a match? I, I had the heels at the bottom and I had the good guys at the top. So you can actually say if you want to, the heels or the faces, if you want to, if you want to do it that way, and uh, makes it easier if you want to do it that way. But uh, no, no uh, involvement of managers. Orton and Company, he says, okay, that's an 81, 86, and a 78. It's going to be 84, 84, and 85. Uh, let's see, 84 and 86. That's two better for them. 84. 76, I mean, 78, that's two, and then right there is four better. Bad, bad, Leroy Brown and company, they do win that match. And how about the main event of the evening? The main event of the evening now. This is a real good match. Both of them tag team champions at one time or another. Jay Youngblood, Ricky Steamboat. Minnesota Wrecking Crew, Ole and Arn Anderson. I mean, Ole and, um, Ole and Gene Anderson, rather. And um, who will win this one? Each one has their own specialty things. So um, uh, will it be the face or will it be the heel here? Um. Thomas has picked every one of them but uh, one so far. So uh, this will be a good match. Steamboat Youngblood, he says. It'll be Star. It'll be 86, 68. Yes, sir. Jay Youngblood and Ricky Steamboat win, and they are 1 and 0. Oh. All these other guys are 1 and 0 oh as well. And we will go now. To the Dorton Arena. Uh, yeah, let me go to Dorton Arena. Let's do that. Let's go to Dorton Arena. Uh, 
have a seven-match card now. Okay. And we won't have as many squash matches here. Okay. All right. That's a tag team card. There's a tag team card. And there's a tag team card. All righty. That's the good guys. That's the heels. All right. All righty. Let's see who we're going to face against who. I don't know. I don't know. Lead off match of the evening. Let's, uh, let's have a junior heavyweight championship. It's not, it's not going to actually be a junior heavyweight title belt, but two guys that are really good. Denny Brown, Nelson Royal. That'll be the first match of the evening. Denny Brown, Nelson Royal. All right. Okay. Next, we will face, let's see. Ah. Uh. Might do a tag team match second. Let's see. Let's. We might do that. Who knows? Okay. The Missouri Mauler, Missouri Mauler against Black Jack Mulligan. We'll have that in that next match. Uh, I tell you what, we're going to put. No, we're going to put Johnny Weaver against Johnny Weaver against. Yeah, you did pick him good the first time through. You did pick some good ones. You really did. Uh, so it'll be Weaver against Missouri Mauler. Um, okay, let's see. Eight-man tag team bout. This could get good. All right. Eight-man tag match. All right. Box one, Rob, nothing. Ah, that's funny. I like that. 
All right. And All right. That's going to be an eight-man tag match. Ron Ritchie, Rufus R. Freight Train Jones, Jimmy Valiant, Wahoo McDaniel against Paul Jones, Harley Race, Greg Valentine, and Bob Orton Jr. Let's see. That's three matches. So we still got we still got some more to go here. Um Black Jack Mulligan against Ric Flair. How about that one? Now, let's see. I'll tell you what. Let's put him up against Dick Slater. Dick Slater and Mulligan. Oh, Thomas got to go back to work. Sorry, bud. Sorry about that. Three. There's a fourth match. Fifth match, we'll go with tag team. And who will we go with? I don't know. All right. Sergeant Slaughter and Don Canodal against Dusty Rhodes and Manny Fernandez. And the main event of the evening will be... Uh, that's all tag teams, so we don't want tag teams. We want we want straight up wrestlers here. Jay Youngblood against Ric Flair. Jay Youngblood against Ric Flair. All right. So, all right, let's mix them up. That's going to be the main event of the evening. Jay Youngblood, Ric Flair. All righty. All right. Denny Brown, Nelson Royal. All right. We can even throw a couple of special matches in. To this one right here, if we want to. This one will be a special match. This one will be a special match. All right. Let's go right there with this one. Let's go right here with this one. I'm just working my way across there. Um, and we'll go right here with this one. And then special stipulation rules. Right here. Anything but grudge match, iron match. We don't need that. Okay. So, uh. All right, here we go. All right, guys, who's still here with me? All right, it's Fatomatic here. Uh, we've got an eight-man tag match. 
This is going to be, let's say, Charlotte Coliseum. Who is here with me, guys? All right, match one. Consists of Denny Brown. Versus Nelson Royal. Both of them light heavyweight title champions, light heavyweight champions in their time. All right. While we're over this way, we'll do it this way. If anybody would like to pick a winner, go for it. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Here we go. Denny Brown, Nelson Royal. And it's blood. And Nelson Royal wins that one. Nelson Royal wins this one. All right. Nelson Royal. And that was a nice match there. 9-14. First blood match. All right. Next match. Johnny Weaver. The sleeper guy. The Weaver lock. Versus the Missouri Mauler. Missouri Mauler was not in the area a long time. But he knew how to protect himself. He knew how to fight. So let's see what happened here. Cup, 95. Johnny Weaver is the winner there. Johnny Weaver. He out-wrestles uh, the Missouri Mauler. 14 minutes, 12 seconds, and sleeper hold. He put the sleeper on him. All right. Match three. Eight-man tag team match. Ron Ritchie, Rufus R. Freight Train Jones, Jimmy Valiant, Wahoo McDaniel against Paul, number one Paul Jones, Harley Race, Greg Valentine, and Bob Orton Jr. These guys... Um, It's just, it's going to be a battle here. You know it will be. Eight-man tag team. Uh, anytime you got special stipulations. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I will add them up in just a second because um, it's, it should be probably going to be a close match. All right, let's see. Paul Jones, Harley Race, Greg Valentine, and Bob Orton Jr. All right, let's see what kind of special circumstances here. And it's, oh, well, it's nothing, nothing special, just uh, weights or uh, strength. So let's see what's happening here. Let's do the addition here. 82 plus 86 plus 80 plus 86, it's 3, 3, 4. All right, the other side, 75 plus 83 plus 87 plus 82, 327. Wow, Jimmy, uh, Wahoo McDaniel rolls up Paul Jones in a small package. Ron Ritchie, Rufus R. Freight Train Jones, Jimmy Vant, Wahoo McDaniel pull off the upset. How about that? Wow. They get the, get the small package on um, Paul Jones. and it. Yep, they won. They won. They sure did. Ritchie is a strong guy. Black Jack Mulligan now, match four. It'll be Mulligan against Dick Slater. How about that? Black Jack Mulligan, Dick Slater. Mulligan also in um, the uh, Florida set, I think. 
All right. Who's going to win this one? Ah, Mulligan is a gold card here. And let's see. Wrestler, 95-90. Mulligan wins. Pins Dick Slater. Pins him with the claw. He puts a claw on him and pins him with it. And that was impressive there. Now, possibly to try to get in a later time a tag team title match. How about Dusty Rhodes, Manny Fernandez, Sergeant Slaughter, Don Canodal? This could be big here. Dusty Rhodes. Manny Fernandez versus Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Don, <laughs> Don Canodal. Boy, oh boy. Anybody got a hunch as to how this one's going to finish? Two tough teams. Let's see what happens. Grudge match. A Texas death match. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, you take heart and you take blood. Blood right there, 89 to 86. They have three advantage. Heart, 86 to 84. Rhodes and Fernandez wins it by one point there. Wow. Wow, 30-minute time limit. It went 29 minutes, 43 seconds. Man, oh, man. And then our main event of the evening. We have Jay Youngblood against Ric Flair. Jay Youngblood, Ric Flair. And what type match is this going to be? Uh, let's see. Steel cage match. Steel cage match. And the cup. Uh, Flair's got him there. My seven. Blood. Flair wins a steel cage match over um, Jay Youngblood. Figure four. And he now will try to line himself up as to being a champion now. Grudge match, steel cage match, but the Texas death match, Dusty Rhodes, Manny Fernandez, pull off the upset there. Um, if you really, really want to look at an upset, Ron Ritchie, Rufus R. Freight Train Jones, Jimmy Valiant, and Wahoo McDaniel, uh, they beat Bob Orton Jr., Greg Valentine, Harley Race, Paul Jones, and Wahoo uh, ends up rolling up Paul Jones in a small package for the win. Johnny Weaver, the Missouri Mauler. Weaver gets a Weaver lock on him in 14-12. Johnny Weaver wins that match. Denny Brown, Nelson Royal. Nelson Royal wins that one. He gets a Bulldog on him. Nine minutes, nine and 14 seconds, first blood. Blackjack Mulligan, Dick Slater. Mulligan pins him. and. Uh, with the claw and Ric Flair steel cage match against Jay Youngblood 34 minutes, 19 seconds. Flair puts the figure four on Jay Youngblood and he submits in the steel cage. So that's you have it here on this Saturday evening, Richmond Coliseum. Um, Greg Valentine wins over Kelly Kaniski. Private Jim Nelson beats Jimmy Valiant. Ric Flair beat Ron Ritchie. Bad, bad Leroy Brown, Bob Orton Jr. Dick Slater beat Pork Chop Cash, Rufus R. Freight Train Jones, and Angelo Mosca Jr. And in the main event in Richmond, Jay Youngblood, Ricky Steamboat pinned Gene and Ole Anderson. Now we came down to Charlotte Coliseum. Denny Brown, Nelson Royal, Nelson Royal. Wins that first blood match. Johnny Weaver, Missouri Mauler, 
Johnny Weaver wins that match with the sleeper hold. The eight-man tag match. Ron Ritchie, Rufus R. Jones. Jimmy Valiant and Wahoo McDaniel pull off a big upset over Paul Jones. Harley Race, Greg Valentine, and Paul and Bob Orton Jr. And they roll up um, Paul Jones in it in the small package. And that was that. Black Jack Mulligan pins Dick Slater with the claw. He actually pins him with it. Dusty Rhodes, Manny Fernandez, they beat Sergeant Slaughter and Don Canodal. 29 minutes, 43 seconds of Texas death match. And the main event of the evening, Ric Flair in a cage beats Jay Youngblood, the figure four, 34 minutes, 19 seconds. Ric Flair now is in line to try to get a title. The Mid-Atlantic title will be up for grabs very, very soon. And we will have that championship ship belt uh, on the line in the upcoming weeks. So I hope you guys will be watching. Tomorrow, tomorrow we'll have two more venues. We're going to let the, we're gonna keep these guys up. We're going to uh, just keep up and we'll see uh, what their uh, records look like, let's say, by July 1st. And if, if they're looking good, then we'll put them in championship matches. And if not, then uh, they'll be they'll be at the head of the card. And that's just the way it'll be. Uh, we'll start using booster cards um, come time to win titles. So that way it, it could play a factor in whether uh, someone keeps a belt or loses a belt or wins a belt. So uh, I hope you guys um, will come back. Um, Slam Wars. Slam Wars. A lot of fun. Um and um, that's what the card that's what the card box looks like, and uh, they're nice cards, nice size cards, um, a lot bigger than a lot of cards that you know. These are playing card size, and uh, twenty four ninety nine uh, on uh, eBay. And the more I play it, I hope the more I like it. And um, I think if I have two or three different uh, areas where we can clash. Uh, it could even be more fun. So um, here's the NWA at its best back in mid-Atlantic times, 70s, 80s, some of the 60s, but mostly 70s and 80s. And uh, they really came to, come to life here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you do. Um, and if you've got a match in mind for some of these guys, um, if if it's a, you know if it's a squash match even I don't care um, all the squash matches are not necessarily squash matches if they you know if they met on TV or something there's a chance somebody could roll somebody up small package and get a quick you know quick not easy win but a lucky win maybe so it could happen so till I see you again my name's Rob thanks so much for checking out my channel I hope you enjoyed my wrestling. And we're going to certainly be back here very, very soon tomorrow. Uh, Roanoke Civic Center, that'll be the day and the night time will be Greensboro Coliseum. So we'll have a lot of um, a lot of good matches in line for the Greensboro Coliseum. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.